getting to know the newly selected CEO. Also, walking toward a healthier heart. SMMC Associates celebrate National Walking Day. Hello everyone, I'm Chris Olson. This is your Shawnee Mission Medical Center update for the week of April 16th. Shawnee Mission Medical Center is welcoming Ken Bacon as its new CEO. Bacon is replacing longtime CEO Sam Turner, who stepped down the end of last year. Bacon made his second visit to campus early April, and we had the chance to catch up with him. Let's get to know the new CEO. With a big smile, incoming CEO Ken Bacon is ready to fill some pretty big shoes. Shoes that have seen and, for the most part, been responsible for a great amount of growth and expansion. But those big shoes don't seem to intimidate Bacon much. Instead, he looks forward to continuing Shawnee Mission Medical Center's success. The employees that I met as I walked around the halls, um, telling me how great this place is. Um, and you can see it in their face that they love it here. Um, that tells you a lot about an organization and was something that I wanted to be part of. Bacon has been in the Adventist Health System for 20 years, most recently serving as CEO at Littleton Adventist Hospital in Littleton, Colorado. To him, heading east to Kansas City was a natural progression. And one of the reasons that we're the preferred hospital in this market is because that comes through. As you are walking the facility, talking to staff, that Christ-centered care and faith-based organization, regardless of people's faith background, it comes through in the culture and how we take care of people. Bacon's family and KU's run in the NCAA tournament made the decision to move his wife, Deanna, sons Paul and Mark, and young daughter Olivia to Kansas City a little easier. As soon as my boys found out we were moving to Kansas City, it's right about the time the Final Four was starting. And so they get on Kansas uh, KU right away and uh, started cheering for them. Cheering that will now be geared toward the success of Shawnee Mission Medical Center and continuing a tradition of growth. I look forward to being here at the end of April and uh, getting started. Um, I've heard so many great things about this facility and I've witnessed them already. Bacon is excited to stay in the Adventist health system and focus on faith-based care. Jack Wagner, who served as interim CEO during the search, will return to his CFO role once Bacon officially starts on April 23rd. There will be a series of town hall meetings for associates to get to know the new CEO. Different than a typical town hall, these meetings give associates the chance to ask Mr. Bacon questions. They are scheduled for Thursday, May 10th at these times throughout the day in Conference Room A. The Joint Commission made its surprise visit in early April. The Joint Commission is a not-for-profit organization that assesses hospitals and other health care organizations on quality standards. Visits are relatively unannounced, but generally happen every three years. This year, the hospital only had 15 minutes notice, but associates seemed to handle the visit with ease. Well, I will tell you, the surveyors were very complimentary of the hospital. In fact, every time they interviewed staff, I mean, this is a big stress on staff to say, somebody's coming in and watching how I take care of my patients. The staff were amazing. They were so willing to share. They were so proud of their work, um, easily answered the questions, which means that they were doing what they were supposed to be doing. The Joint Commission analyzes thousands of standards during their week-long visit. The fourth annual Heart and Soul Cardiology Conference is right around the corner. The event is put on by the Shawnee Mission Heart and Vascular Center as continuing education for physicians and nurses. The event is designed to keep clinicians keyed in on what's changing in the industry so they can provide exceptional care. The all-day event is Friday, April 27th at the Ritz-Charles in Overland Park. Each year we try to have a different theme. This year is our survivor theme. Uh, survivor seems like a, a great uh, show and everybody really likes to see people uh, surviving in difficult situations. Ray Gable and Daniel Stewart will wrap up the day's event. Gable is a heart transplant recipient who will be delivering a presentation on second chances. Stewart will deliver the day's final address titled Survival is Real and Miracles Really Do Happen. Stewart survived a sudden heart attack on Christmas Eve in 2010. For more information or to register, contact Debbie Lawrence at debbie.lawrence at shawneemission.org or call 913-676-2034. Shawnee Mission Medical Center Associates celebrated National Walking Day on April 4th, which went right along with this month's wellness challenge focused on walking. 
Associates laced up their sneakers and walked in partnership with the American Heart Association. Bottled water and frozen yogurt vouchers were handed out. National Walking Day is aimed to raise awareness toward leading a heart-healthy life. Associates will keep on walking in preparation for the Heart Walk on May 19th. Thanks for joining us for SMMC News, where you can find out what's happening around Shawnee Mission Medical Center. Hope to see you next time. I'm Chris Olson. Have a fantastic week.